What's up, it's Coach J Pro, and we're back with another round of reflex, Bang. bag, Bang. workouts. Okay, let's go. Okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the holy key. You're supposed to be this close to me, and hopefully, you understand G.O.D. Maybe this cold, and I'm talking like no degree. Today we got a four round advanced combo workout. As usual, all you need to go through this one are boxing gloves and a reflex cobra bag. Keep in mind the longer combos are tricky on a moving target, so the recommended intensity today is between 60 to 80%. Focus on your timing over everything else. It's a win if you can just complete the combo on your bag. No warm up today, we're jumping right into the first round. Just throw your gloves on and we're good to go. <laughs> All right, we're working our way up to a 12 move combo today, but we're gonna break it down into three different parts. But round one, we're gonna start to warm it up a little bit. We're gonna get right into a flow one, two. This is our light, sustainable pace. Light and continuous. I'm at like 50% here. Just getting my rhythm. Hands right back to the chin. We want to start to gradually build that intensity so we can find that flow state later in the workout. All right, now we're going to transition to a flow five, six, nonstop with our uppercuts. Nice and light. Find the pace that works for you. Just start to get those arms warmed up a little bit here. Okay, now we're gonna go into a little freestyle for one minute. Nice and light, anything you want here, start to open it up. If I've got experience, I can stick and move. If I'm newer and I'm still developing my timing, I can just box right in place. A lot of people think developing with the reflex bag is about focus and concentration. Obviously those things matter, but it's about learning your bag's timing over everything else. Okay, last minute of the round, we're gonna go to part one of our combo. Really simple, it's just gonna be a one, two, one, two. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Pause in between each combo. You can move or practice your head movement, but we want to take our time, pick our shots. One, two, one, two. Trying out these Everlast gloves today. Always a little bit of a different feel. Hey, still vibing though. Woof. 10 seconds. One, two, one, two. And time. Quick sip of water and then we jump into round two. Okay, we should be feeling nice and warm going into the second round. So here's the deal. A lot of coaches, a lot of boxing coaches get confused by these advanced combo workouts. They're like, what? You would never do a 12 move combo in the ring. That's unrealistic. And that's true. But the purpose of the advanced combo workout is not because you would pull it off in the, in the ring in a boxing match. It's an exercise in brain training. By memorizing these sequences and putting them together, you're improving your memory and your overall brain function. And you're engaging the mind body because you're doing that with your brain, you're memorizing these sequences, and you're engaging the physical by exercising at the same time. So it's a unique fitness experience. That's why we do it. 
to better the mind, to better the body, not because it's something you would pull off in the ring. So we're gonna gradually pick up the intensity here. We're gonna go back to a freestyle for one minute. Anything you want here. Works the head movement. Hey. Start to pick up that volume a little bit. Start to find that flow state. As always, I'm focused on hitting my bag right through the center and when it's at the center of its movement. Hey, let's go. Ten seconds. Shaking the room with that hook. All right, we're gonna go back to part one of our combo for one minute. You remember it? One, two, one, two. For one minute here. It's more important that you get the timing down than you're able to look really fast and powerful. Speed and power develop over time. You just want to learn the timing of your bag. All of them are going to be a little different. Nice, loose and relaxed upper body. I'm just tensing up the split second I connect with my bag. One more. Okay, we ready for part two? Pretty simple here. It's gonna be a roll rear. Two, five, two. So I'm gonna line up with my bag. Roll rear. Two, five, two. Cross, lead uppercut, cross. Now take your time. When you're rolling rear, you're kind of starting with the weight on your lead side and then using your legs to transfer the weight to your rear side. So I'm a righty, my right leg's in the back. I'm gonna roll, two, five, two. And then reset. Roll, two, five, two. You go as slow as you want at first. It's much better to slow it down and gradually pick up that speed as you go. So your body's getting comfortable with these movements. That could feel a little awkward, that roll. One more. Roll rear, two, five, two. And time. The party continues in round three, going into the second half. Um, quick message to beginners. I see the channel is growing um, every day. It's really exciting to me. Um, I assume or I hope um, these, some of these folks are getting into boxing training or reflex bag training for the first time. Every once in a while I see comments um, about feeling frustrated, that the, the speed or the power, it's, it's difficult and that's totally normal. It's incredibly difficult boxing on a moving target whether you have boxing experience or not. Early on it's really important just to be patient just to be patient and just focus on just learning the timing of your bag and everything gets easier and easier as you go and it starts to become really enjoyable training. And that's what it's about. It's about having fun with the process. If you're too focused and you wanna to be too perfect right away, you're setting yourself up to fail. So we're gonna go back to one more freestyle here. And now that we're in the second half, we wanna really start to open it up a little bit. If you want to practice part one and part two, you can, or just let the hands fly a little bit. Remember part one is our one, two, one, two. Part two is our roll rear, two, five, two. But whatever you want here, this for 30 seconds.
Ich, ich, ich. Hiss. Uh, hiss. Yeah. Ah. Uh. I'm sweating. Let's go. Hiss. 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 Yeah. Hiss. Hiss. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For one minute, we're going to put part one and part two of our combo together. It's going to be a one, two, one, two. Roll rear, two, five, two. Take your time. One, two, one, two. Roll rear, two, five, two. Want that uppercut to connect right down the center. And then reset. This, 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 this. Really important that I'm rolling with my legs, not my lower back. One more. When you time out those rolls right under the bag, that's satisfying. Part three of our combo, we're just gonna work part three here. It's gonna be a step to your lead side and then a one, one, two. So for me, I'm a righty. My right leg is in the back. I'm stepping to my left. So line up with the center of our bag. This gets tricky because we're changing angles. Step, take the angle, one, one, two. And then reset, circle back. So step, one, one, two. If you want to center that bag in between, use your lead hand to center it. Step, one, one, two. That's part three. Think about like part one and part two is where we do the damage. And this is like our defensive combo at the end. We're saying, give me some space here. Step, one, one, two. Oof. One more. Step, one, one, two. And time. Going into the fourth and final round. It's all coming together here. Here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna work each part for 30 seconds and then spend the last minute 30 of the round doing the full combo. So for the first 30 seconds of the round, we're just gonna work that one, two, one, two. Next 30 seconds, we're gonna work that Roll rear, two, five, two. Last 30 seconds, we're just gonna work, not the last, last 30 seconds of the first half. All right, don't get confused. We're gonna work that step, one, one, two. If I'm a righty, I'm stepping to my left. If I'm a righty, or if I'm a lefty and I'm in a southpaw stance, I'm stepping to my right. That feels pretty weird to me. We'll come back to that one. All right, last three minutes. Let's get it here. 30 seconds. One, two, one, two. That's it, part one. You've got some experience when you're doing those simpler parts. Practice your head movement in between each combo. Work a block. Okay, now we're going to part two. Roll rear, two, five, two. Roll. One more. Roll. Next 30 seconds, step, one, one, two. Reset. That might be the trickiest part of the combo, because changing angles is, is tough. One more. Step one, one, two. Okay, let's go. It's all coming together now. Let's do it one time together. Ready? One, two, one, two. 
Roll rear, two, five, two, step, one, one, two. All right, you're on your own now. So satisfying. Yo, put your swagger on it a little bit. Find your unique style. Let's go, 40 seconds, we're still working here. Get the most out of this workout. Make sure you keep those hands up in between. You don't want to get too comfortable. Stay engaged. Fifteen seconds. Let's go. One more together. Let's go. In time. Let's go. Nice work. You just got through this four round advanced combo workout. This is tricky, tricky stuff. So props to you for even being here. Drop a comment if there's anything I can do to help with your reflex bag training journey. And I'll see you again real soon. Hey, hey, ah.